Today I'm going to be talking about Year 3 Biological Sciences. During Years 3 to 6, students learn to order their observations through grouping and classifying. This comes under the science understanding strand of the Australian curriculum. The learning intention of this five-week unit is for students to recognise that living things can be grouped according to their observable features and can be distinguished from non-living things. Critical and creative thinking skills are developed as students identify and clarify information and ideas. Some of the recommended resources for this unit found through Scoodle are Primary Connections, Birth Feathers or Leaves, Science Web Australia's Living and Non-Living Things Unit and Education Victoria's Living Things Explanatory website. These resources support the current best practice and pedagogy, which is inquiry-based and hands-on learning, as cited by the Australian Government in the Shape of the Australian Curriculum Science Paper. Teachers are encouraged to provide a mixture of teacher instruction and active inquiry participation through lots of questioning and hands-on lessons. The 5e Constructivist-based learning and teaching model is useful for this. Acknowledging and embracing the diversity of a group of students is crucial to engaging them. Science is no longer the domain of the crazy old man in a lab coat. Everyone can be a scientist. With this in mind, the following activities have been chosen to engage all different types of learners. Kinesthetic, auditory, visual, from different backgrounds and with different interests. To begin the unit, students need to be taught that there is a difference between living I will now give a few examples of the type of activities and lessons that could be used to teach this unit of work to Year 3s. Students can come up with their own labels, then colour in, cut out and stick pictures of living and non-living things into their science journals with appropriate headings. In another lesson, students can go outside in groups to collect living and non-living things according to their definitions, then present their findings to the class. Make sure to establish a code for caring before going outside to encourage respect for the environment and other living things. Hands-on shared experiences like this create connections with others through collaborative working. As a follow-up activity, go through the what makes it living chart from fur feathers or leaves as a class. As a class, review the living things categories such as mammals, plants, reptiles, birds, minibees and sort the pictures of these animals into categories. Students can also come up with their own definitions of living things such as has fur, has leaves, has feathers and then they can share their findings with the class. Play a game back and forth. The topic is living things. Cat. Dog. Fish. Tree. Banana. Wait, is banana a living thing? Playing a game like this brings up interesting topics of discussion like, is a banana a living thing? For cross-curricular literacy links, use spelling words like sensitive, taxonomy, antennae, anthropomorphic and specimen. In reading groups, you can use subject-specific texts. You can use ICT resources like videos and interactive whiteboard apps. And even organise a zoo or an aquarium excursion and a relevant home project. Through reinforcing the outcomes in as many cross-curricular and engaging ways as possible, it is hoped that students will gain a deep and lasting knowledge of the content. 